Hello and welcome to Alton Castle's virtual wedding viewing. For those of you who wish to stay at home during this time um, but still want to get ahead with your wedding plans. If you have any questions at the end of this video, if you just want to email us or give us a call and we can talk through it. So here's the front of Alton Castle. You can see from the outside they look very much your fairy tale wedding venue. Now here's the full picture of the castle, quite hard to fit in all in one camera. We have two points of access, so this way is from the A168, which used to be the old A1. Um, lovely way into the castle here, you can see lots of farmland on the way through, which really has that wow factor of your wedding day. And here's the um, other access here off the A59. Now we function from a one-way system, so usually it's just minibuses and coaches that come this way. And you can also see from here that the trees there, that's our car park which is suitable for 100 cars. So here we are at the entrance way for the Great Hall. And this is where your guests and yourselves will make your way in through the castle. So there are some steps here which you notice, but we'll dis discuss about disabled access in a bit. The dogs here, they are very much Marmite. You either love them or you hate them. We can get rid of these for you if you wish. And then here we have the Great Hall. The Great Hall is used for your ceremony space or if you're having a church wedding or your wedding somewhere else, then you'll have your drinks reception here straight from the other venue. Now, as you can see, it is certainly a wow factor as soon as guests arrive to look at the Gothic architecture and such the height from the Great Hall. It is truly amazing and will leave your guests kind of gobsmacked as they walk in. Here are some photos of some ceremonies at Allerton Castle in the Great Hall, just to make it a bit more clear of how it would be set up. Now the first room from the Great Hall is the billiards room. And this room is available for your partner to play in the morning before the ceremony and just get some really good shots with their team behind them and have a nice time and relax. So this room is included in your package and ideal really to use throughout the day, especially for any children or elderly guests who just want a quiet space to come to. It's really ideal. Now, you can play this billiards table before the ceremony, although after the ceremony we'll have to cover it up just to protect any wine spilling over it. One thing to note is pre-ceremony drinks. So due to registrar's regulations, it means that we can't have any alcohol um, in the Great Hall there because it's licensed. Therefore, we can have it in your separate room. So your partner in this room here and yourself in the room upstairs very similar to the idea of you wouldn't take a beer into a church really. So here I've put some images for you to have a look at um, and that's usually happened in the billiards room before the ceremony. So let's talk about your ceremony. Before your ceremony yourself and your partner will have to talk to the registrars separately and that's just a legal requirement. We are registered with Harrogate Registrars, so you'll have to go through them for everything. There is a licence fee for a ceremony at Allerton Castle, and that is £800 plus VAT. So your ceremony will take place here, and you'll have two registrars, one at the front and one at the side here, doing the certificate, and your guest to the side here. You'll either want to sign your certificate at the front of your guests here or perhaps you'll want to come in to the drawing room in this separate space here. Now this room is an upgrade option of £150 plus VAT but you can have this to sign your certificate and for photos later on as well. So you may sign your certificate on this table here with your witnesses and maybe some small intimate family with you as well. Now this room isn't included because not everyone uses it as sometimes it goes against the couple's theme or maybe they just don't like it. I think this room certainly has a wow factor and looks amazing for your photos, particularly of the couple in the chairs there with the family around them. Really lovely. 
so you may want this room to sign our certificate and some photos all the way up to the wedding breakfast and at that point we lock this room off to ensure no damages can take place. Here is a photo of someone signing the certificate and some other group shots later on as well which are really lovely. And then here we've got the fireplace which is just the other side of the elephant in the great hall. Now we love a fire going, um, it just really brings a whole new atmosphere to the place. It's always a great conversation starter and people just seem to love it. Particularly when we have Christmas weddings, Christmas tree will be around here um, all lit up as well. And here is a photo of that. So after you've signed your marriage certificate, wherever that may be, you are legally known as a married couple. And at that point, you might want to go off and have 10 minutes to yourselves. So we have a few options for this. You can either make your way back up to the stairs. I mean, in the centre of the staircase there, you give us a little wave. You might want to go out here uh, to maybe a car or a horse and carriage or something. Um, but we definitely recommend having 10 minutes to yourselves just to talk through it all. Have a drink, calm down, because certainly for the rest of the day, you'll be bombarded with congratulations and your guests speaking to you. So it is really the only time that you can speak to each other without everyone else there. And in the meantime, your guests will go to their drink reception. Now, if it's a traditionally Yorkshire day where it's a bit rainy outside and we can't get your guests in, they'll come into the conservatory here just while we move the chairs and the runner so that you guys can go back into the Great Hall. Um, but let's talk about the best case scenario in that we get a nice sunny day and then your guests will come straight outside for their drinks reception. Now here you can see we have amazing grounds and there's no restriction where guests can go. They can wander around as they please. We've got memorial gardens just down there as well. And all of these link round to each other as well. Really lovely. Up here is hard standing. So if you want a bouncy castle or any kind of lawn games, that's ideal up here. We've had a few people choose to do a laser clay shooting, some owl displays, which are always a bit different and really add a bit of personality to your day. Here are some photos that we've had on the top terrace here. Really lovely. Now coming back inside, we have the conservatory. On the evening, this is an ideal spot for any photo booth or magic mirror or any kind of activity you've got so it does not disrupt your dancing and your party aspect but isn't too far away either that guests won't know it's there. So back in the Great Hall now and nicely tucked away under the staircase here is our bar. Some argue that the bar is one of the most important parts about the wedding day. Here we have our bar. It's run by Bradshaws of York. All of our packages include catering, so that's your three course meal and your drinks reception and all of your extras as well. Of course, there's upgrade options too. So if you want maybe some champagne rather than um, Prosecco. And we also have a free line here for any kind of local cast sale or anything as you would like. It functions from all three sides, so perfect for any busy bar. Just round the corner from the bar we have a lift, which offers help for disabled guests or people with less mobility. And this can take them up from the grounds to this floor here, and even upstairs if maybe grandma is staying overnight or wants to see you get ready. Stable toilets and baby changing facilities are just to the side here for them and down these steps here and then we have everyone else's loose just down that side there and then here we have the entrance to Memorial Gardens which is what we saw earlier. So you might want to have your drinks reception out in Memorial Gardens around here. Amazing for photos with the pond, the archways here and all background space around us as well. You can have a stereo out here as well if you want. Um, we have a plug socket just to my right here. Or occasionally we've had a string quartet down at the bottom of the pond there. Playing around to you guess around the pond there. 
Sometimes you have them on the top terrace there, playing down to your guests down here. Might be ideal to have a confetti tunnel, which is just down here, where either sides of the tunnel there are made up of your guests. We do ask for biodegradable confetti, with the lovely castle in the background there of all your shots. Really lovely. It adds that traditional feel to the day. Just coming down the steps here so you can see what the tunnel would be like. Really lovely out here. Here are some photos of the memorial gardens being used in real weddings. So after your drinks reception is the wedding breakfast, which is in the ballroom here. Now this is the empty room here. It's suitable for 120 in the day, just because of this room. We could fill this room with five foot or six foot chairs. Usually we suggest about eight to 10 or maybe even 12 people per table, depending on your guest numbers. You might want a long top table by the fireplace here if you want to go quite traditional. Or you might want to have a bit more of a modern round table in the bay window here with the amazing view of the Temple of Victory in the background there. Really lovely for in here, any kind of interior or dressing that you would like really. One thing to make you aware of are candles. So in here you can have whatever candles you like. In the Great Hall though where your ceremony is, we do ask that they are in pillar candles, um, are in vases or lanterns uh, and just on the staircase there. And that's just because of health and safety regulations and fire safety. So after your speeches, uh, cutting the cake and wedding breakfast, which will all be in that blue room there, will be your evening reception. Now this again would be your space for your evening reception, band or DJ there in that 3 by 4 space by the elephant, and then this area is your dance floor. We know that decorations will to everyone's taste, and you can decorate the staircase if you want. We just ask that nothing's on the wood if you attach things to the brass banister there. And as we said earlier about the candles, so they would be on here on the staircase there. Here are some different ideas of how people have decorated the Great Hall in the past. Here we are at the mezzanine floor. This is exclusive for yourself, any of your guests staying overnight, your videographer and photographer. This means that they can get the best angles with no one in any shots. If it's a rainy day, you could have your group down here by the staircase there from this angle. It's really great. You can get some really romantic photos up here on the evening as well. We do say that if any children are in your bridal party coming down, for hands to be held up here just because there is large gaps in the banisters. It does mean that no young children can stay overnight. So this is the palace suite. This is included in your package during the day. Ideal for you to come and get ready here. So your contract starts from 12 to 12. If we don't have an event on the day before, we can grant you early access from 10am at no additional cost. If you'd like to stay overnight, it's £120 plus VAT additional. We also have two other additional rooms that you could hire. These are called the Tudor Rooms. So this is Tudor Room 1. These are both £100 plus VAT for the day and 200 plus VAT for the day and night. These are ideal for parents or grandparents or anyone staying a long distance coming to your wedding day. Um, quite good for them. This here is the breakfast room which is just next door which is where you can have continental breakfast the next day and the final Tudor room here for you as well with a beautiful four poster.
From this room you can see our wonderful lake which is just out here and you can see in this photograph here amazing for pictures with the both of you in the forefront and the castle in the background really amazing. We ask that you use our caterers Bradshaws of York and two firework companies Ferensby and Optima as we are charity run which means that all money raised will go towards the maintenance and restoration of the castle which is always nice to know I think but also means that you can do what you want so if you want to do DIY or maybe you want to get other suppliers in that we haven't used before you are free to do so. So my name is Libby I'm your personal wedding planner to help support you throughout the whole process and I will help you do your order of the days, your timelines, your table plans and help relieve that stress. So this brings us to an explanation of the brochures we've sent you. So we have this one here which is our packages and this one here which has some images, some suppliers and all a bit more of information about the castle as well. But here's our packages so as discussed earlier our packages include catering, we have per person head and everything's included on this page. Upgrades and things are on the next few pages with their pricing as well and also some helpful information at the back there. If you do have any questions or you want to discuss further please do let us know and just by emailing us or giving us a call.